Oh, what's up, guys? So, in my in one of my videos, I sorry, weird. yeah, there you go. In one of my videos, I showed you how to make a hat, but that like that top wasn't really um curved. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, and instead of like next time we, we you already like didn't make the thing the top curved. And what you could you're making another hat and you're sewing the top. <coughs> Sorry, you could you could also like you could sew it and then tighten it really like a lot for on the top, but not a lot that it curves and just a lot so then it like goes like instead of being like this, it like goes like that instead of curving. So yeah, I hope that made sense. So yeah, and I'm gonna show you how to make that curve and it's like we're gonna do we're gonna do it like if we were doing the magic loop like like we, if we were like like ending a plushie so yeah let's get into it okay so you're gonna need your knitted fabric or rectangle i didn't really make this a rectangle i kind of made a granny square um situation here and obviously you need your crochet hook and your scissors sorry about that and this time i actually um, cut it the yarn like I put a lot of yarn with it so yeah so yeah so what we're gonna do first is obviously we have to sew them together and obviously it's not gonna be that good so we need to leave it in so remember just like yesterday put your wow this is so much tighter I guess it's because I'm putting it like through the knot you know, just just put it through there, just in case. So, put it through the first stitch. Wow. And then, now, just like in the last video, and in the sewing video, obviously we're gonna go like that, all the way through. Might be a little hard to get the yarn through, but... There we go. And remember, like, not to tighten it. So, yeah, I'm going to snap. So then, three, two, one. Okay, so, ah, my leg. So now, I have finished sewing. And so, if you do sew for the top, then what you're going to do, like, this is, pretend like this is the top, okay? Like, pretend that this was the top and you were sewing it. What, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten it just like that, but not tighten it a lot to the point where it curves. But on this one, just don't like just stretch it out because you can't, like, you need to fit a head in there. Just make sure it's stretched out and just like that. So now, after you've done that last stitch, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just like last time, place your hook through there again. And I really hope this is going to be a short video because it has to be. I'm just trying to show you how to make the curved way. So, it might take a while. There we go. And then you're going to make two or three knots. So, cut, cut to that part. Okay, so I have finished sewing. Now it's just time to cut the yarn off, just like that. And I don't know why I'm said I said I was finished sewing. I was literally f finishing doing the knots. So remember, then if it's not that big, you put your arm through, it. and then just do that and stretch it out. Uh, so I'm gonna keep stretching it out. I'm gonna cut to that part three, two, one. Okay, so I have finished um, stretching it out. Um, let me actually make sure that it fits my head. Okay, if it doesn't fit your head, then just keep stretching it three, two, one. Okay, so it doesn't fit me. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave it for ornaments or something. But yeah, this was supposed to be for my mom. Um, but 
me and my mom have the same head shape, but it doesn't fit me, so it's not gonna fit her. So now I'm just gonna leave this for a um, ornament, but I'm, I am gonna show you how to do the top. So again, like I'm just gonna show you, okay? So I'm gonna sew this whole thing like like that, okay? Three, two, one. Oh, and forgot, um, you don't know how to sew it, um, go check out my other video on how to make the hat. And anyways, I am going to show, um, I am going to sew this together to show you. Three, two, one. Okay, so I am on my last stitch, but if you do have an extra stitch on the back, what you're going to do is just get that last stitch, just like normal with the stitch that you had, then do that. And then, just like that, you're going to weave it, the yarn in. Just like always, when we're finishing a project. And technically, the hat is finished. But, I don't know why I did the knot. I'm going to try to get this undone. Because I don't even know why I did the knot when I'm trying to show you how to get the curve. So, I'm going I'm to transition to that. Okay, so I finally undone it. So, what you're going to do to make that curve is you're also going to tighten it just like that and then leave it going to tighten it <clears throat> just like that and leave it like that and then you kind of have a curve but the other way to do it is kind of like the magic loop so I'm going to undone this real quick 3, 2, 1 okay so now the other way to make the curve wait sorry I accidentally forgot what stitch so there we go now Another way to make that curve is to do it like if we were finishing a plushie. And I might turn this into a plushie. Yeah, but anyways, sorry. So, to do that, um, what you're going to do is just like when we're ending the magic loop, when we finished adding stuffing to our plushie. So, obviously, instead of sewing, what you're going to do is you're going to place the yarn on one side so this is going to be a little difficult just like that and then you're going to place it through the, all the stitches around it but not but not going in order like that no what you're going to do place it through every single stitch around it just like that just like if we were doing the um, like finishing our plushie with a um with the magic loop so put it in every single stitch that you have okay and this is gonna take some time and so I am gonna transition with a swipe just like always okay I am not finished but also you don't know how to do that or you're mixed up um go check out my other video on how to do the magic loop and skip through it and then then that you're gonna see how like to like sew it in so yeah back to the transition I'm gonna do a snap this time okay so I have um, done it you can't tell because I've actually unweaved it so so just like with a plushie you're gonna tighten it and all the stitches come together just like that in a circle and I might make this a plushie because it doesn't fit me so might so obviously it's not gonna fit my mom so just like that, you got your curve on it. Sorry if it was too like like um, close to the camera. It was just that like um how do how do I say this? Um uh I just needed to stand up because like my legs were hurting. So I don't know why I have hairs in there. So make sure it's real tight, and then pick any stitch that's close to that. Pick it. And then, before that, you're going to make sure that every little stitch is tightened and hold it there so you, so you make sure that's all tightened and then keep holding it. Then, make sure it's still tightened and then make the little knot that we always do. And then tighten it even more, and boom, it's all closed. All you gotta do now is just make your um stitches. Well, not stitches, you're not. 
Well, not, not. You get my point. So I'm gonna keep doing these knots. So I'm just gonna do. Okay, wait. Let me, let me do one more knot, because technically it is three knots. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. And after you did that, tighten it and cut the yarn off. And boom, you got your curve. There we go. Now it's like a little beanie. And obviously you could roll it up if you want to. Just like that, like a little beanie. So I'm just going to try to make this a plushie. But <laughs> if... If not, um, I can make, I could turn into a squid, I don't know. But, yeah, and I'm going to do my outro, wait. Yeah, guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, and have, sorry, am I sweating? But, and also have enjoyed making the curve of your beanie or hats. So, yeah, I guess this is a part two, but no. Anyways, so I, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And make sure to like and subscribe and goodbye.